In this example, we are going to determine the convergence or divergence of the following series using the ratio series test. Okay, so we're going to need to take the limit of the ratio of the nth plus one term and the nth term, and then see what we get. Okay, so if we get, if the limit is less than one, then it, this series will be converging. If it's strictly bigger than one, this series diverges. If we get, if the limit is exactly equal to one, then this uh, racial series test can cannot be apl applied. Okay, so it's inconclusive. All right. Okay, so let's again first calculate the identify the nth term, and then from there we can get the nth plus one term. So the nth term, okay, is going to be minus one to the n times root n all over n plus 1. Okay. The nth plus 1 term, okay, so it's going to be minus 1 to the n plus 1 times the square root of n plus 1 all over n plus 2. Okay. So now we can set up their limit. Okay, so we're going to have the limit of the nth plus 1 term all over the nth term. Okay, so that's going to give us minus 1 to the nth plus 1 times square root of n plus 1 all over n plus 2. And then we have the, on the bottom we have the nth term. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and take the reciprocal of that. So that's going to give us n plus 1 over minus 1 to the n times root n. Okay, so... Uh, we have minus 1 to the n plus 1 and minus 1 to the n top. So we, those are going to give us alternating signs. Okay. Um, let's see. So, yeah. So we're going to end up getting a negative value or a negative in the, in the absolute value. So we're going to go ahead and take the absolute value. And so that negative will become a positive. Okay. So we're going to get... Okay, so again, after I remove the absolute values, okay, so we took, so the minus one values will go, will become positive. So we end up getting root of n plus one, and I'm going to go ahead and put this over root n times n plus one over n plus two. Okay. So this can be written as the limit as n goes to infinity of root, okay, so this one we can rewrite as, or we can put everything under the square root, so we can write this as square root of n plus 1 over n times n plus 1 over n plus 2, okay. So taking the limit of this as n goes to infinity, so this part, this part is going to go to 1, okay, because underneath there we have n plus 1 over n. So again, that's a, underneath the square root, that's a rational, we can think of this as a rational function. Okay, so the limit of that's going to go to 1, so the square root of 1 is 1, and similarly here, this is going to approach 1. Okay, so the limit, okay, so we get the limit is equal to 1. Okay, so that means, uh, it's inconclusive here for the ratio test. So we need to look for alternate strategy to determine whether the series converges or not. So if we go back and look at the original series, okay, we have, uh, it turns out that this is an alternating series, okay. All right, so what we can do is we can use or we can apply the alternating series test, okay? Okay, so let's do that. So let's apply the alternating series test. OK. 
that. All right, so for a series, okay. Okay, just rewriting what we had. So we had minus one to the n times root n over n plus one. Okay, all right. So there are two conditions to check for, right? The first condition, okay, is that we need to uh, make sure, okay, that the limit of the nth term is going to zero. Okay, that's the first condition. Second condition is that the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term. Okay. Okay, so in this case, our nth term, so our nth term, because we're using alternating series tests, so our nth term is just going to be this. Okay. Okay, so let's take the limit of this. So the limit of root n over over n plus one, okay, uh, we can evaluate this by taking or by looking at the new that the denominator, okay, and then dividing the looking at the uh, the the variable with the highest power. So in this case, it's n. So we can take and divide each term by n, okay. So we're going to get root n over n, n over n, plus 1 over n. So this is going to simplify. Okay, so we end up getting root n over n on top. Okay, and on the bottom we get 1 plus 1 over n. Okay. All right. So let's see. So the root n, so root n is actually increasing. It's not, it's not as, inc it's not increasing at a uh, faster rate as n. Okay, so basically, so basically n increases at a faster rate than square root n. Okay, so you're gonna get, for the numerator, you're gonna get zero, okay. And then here you're gonna get one, in the bottom we have one over n. So one over something getting larger is going to approach zero, so. We end up getting, we end up getting this zero. Okay, so that's one way we can do the limit. Uh, the other way is we can use the, um, we can do the, we can apply L'Hopital's theorem here. So let's just do that on the side here. Okay. Okay. So. If we do a direct substitution, okay, we're going to get infinity over infinity. So this is the indeterminate result. Okay. Okay. So this is indeterminate. Right, so that means we can apply L'Hopital's rule here. Okay, so we do that by taking the derivative on top. So that's going to give us 1 half into the negative 1 half. Okay, using the power rule. And this is all going to be divided by 1. Okay, so rewriting this. Okay. Uh, this is going to give us one over, so basically one over two root n. So as n goes to infinity, this is going to go to zero. Okay. So that gives us that makes the right that gives us our first condition. Okay. So 
Okay, so the limit of the nth term is going to zero. Now we have to check to see if the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term. So it's not obvious from what we have here. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, let's look at the nth term as a function. And then we can see, uh, and then we can use the first derivative test. Okay, or I should say we can use the first derivative to see if this function is decreasing on the interval that we're, that we're interested in. Okay, so let's see. All right, so let, so the nth term that we're looking at is root n over n plus one, okay? And we want to show, okay, so remember we want to show We want to show that the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term. So that means we need to show that this is going to be decreasing. Or actually, I should say, more properly, see it's going to be uh, non-increasing. Non okay. All right. Okay, so... So we want to show that it's non-increasing okay all right so let f of x okay let's define f to be our to be the uh, function of root x over x plus one okay so we're going to take the derivative of this okay okay so the derivative of this okay using the quotient rule that's going to give us uh, one half x to the minus one half times right times the denominator minus the derivative to the bottom which is one times the uh, top part okay which is x to the one half and then divide by x plus one squared all right so this is going to be equal to So this is just 1 over 2 root x times x plus 1 minus root x all over x plus 1 squared. Okay, so now we need to find the critical value here. Okay, so... We're going to set this derivative equal to zero and solve for that. So I'll find the x that satisfies this. Okay, so let's see, going back here, let's simplify this. Um, let's see. So we can multiply the top and bottom by 2 root x, okay? So we'll do that over here. Okay, so this is going to give us, actually, let's multiply it by 2 root x, just to simplify things even more. So that's going to be uh, x plus 1. It's going to give us x plus 1 minus, so 2 root x times root x, that will give us 2x. Okay, and on the bottom, that's going to give us 2 root x times x plus 1 squared. So this is going to leave us with 1 minus x all divided by 2 root x times x plus 1 squared. Okay. All right, so now we can set this equal to 0. Okay. Okay, so let's see. 
so if we if we move the bottom okay we can multiply the bottom we can multiply both sides by the bottom here okay so that's equivalent so this statement is equivalent to solving 1 minus x equals to 0 okay all right and since remember that we're looking for remember this is based on our sequence on our nth term okay and our series the nth term was on the interval from 1 to infinity so we want to see if it's if the nth plus 1 term is less than or equal to nth term on, on that interval okay on the interval where the interval is going from 1 to infinity okay so then okay so solving this okay we get x equals to 1 so that's going to be our critical our critical value here okay so here's the value of 1 okay so we can pick pick a point test point so let's say 4 so if we plug that back into the derivative okay okay so plugging it back into, into the derivative on the bottom okay that's going to give us a positive value so we end up getting 1 minus 4 over 2 root 4 times 5 squared okay so this is going to be minus 3 uh, so we're going to get 4 times 5 squared so this this is going to be a negative value so that means everything in here is going to be negative okay going from 1 to infinity okay all right and we don't really you know we really we really don't care what's happening over here on this side okay so that means okay everything from 1 to infinity okay the values okay for x that are between 1 and infinity means this is where the function is decreasing so therefore we can say that the nth term the nth plus 1 term will be less than or equal to the nth term okay so it's actually going to be strictly, uh, it'll be nth plus one term will be strictly less than the nth term, which is what we need, okay? So, okay, so we showed that. The nth term is less than or equal to the nth, okay? And that's what we wanted to show. That was the second part for the alternating series test okay so therefore okay because both properties the limit of the nth term goes to zero and the nth plus one term is less than or equal to the nth term okay so therefore the series converges okay Okay, so f n equals to one to infinity. Converges. Okay, by the altering series test. All right, and that's the result. So. Going back, okay, so we were unable to use the ratio series test because we got the, the limit was 1. The limit of the nth plus term over the nth term was 1, so we have to use an alternate series test. So because we had minus 1 to the end, that, so that, told, that, that says that we have alternating series here. So we apply the alternating series test. Both conditions were met. Therefore, this series converges, okay? All right.